another hot one in Arkansas today. So, um, got up this morning, um, got ready to go. <clears throat> Had to be at the uh, Air Force Base, Arkansas Air Force Base. It was my first time ever being at an Air Force base, man. Um, fortunately, wasn't able to drop my uh, load or deliver the load today. And pretty much had to spend majority of the day uh, waiting for confirmation where to drop the load. See the company that I drive for it is is like is like this man. Look, we got the load, and if if we're not waiting, we're not waiting. So fleet manager got on deck. You know, gave me the gave gave me the uh, route to go and drop, uh, do a dead drop, and uh, kept me moving. So I am here. In Arkansas, I'm about an hour and some change away from my next delivery. Mind you that this is a three-stop delivery, so, or a four-stop delivery. Uh, first one's already did. The next one is going to be, like, early in the morning. Once I get finished with that, I'll just, I, I think I'm going to be able to knock out all three stops tomorrow with maybe some time left to go do a pickup and maybe get some drive in you know to to start making back uh making it back to ohio uh for my for for my weekend off uh, next monday and tuesday i will be off for some personal business so uh you'll probably have some videos of the past that might be uploaded i'm not sure but no commentary for uh for monday and or tuesday um i'll be back wednesday so i'll be able to knock out wednesday thursday friday maybe into the weekend i'm not sure i'm not sure how that's gonna work because you know we gotta you know get me back on the get me back on the weekend but um I will this weekend <laughs> definitely get my hair cut. I'm, I'm in I'm in I'm in dire straits of a haircut. So I will be able to get my hair cut Saturday when I get back home. I'm going to I'm I'm going to keep the beard. I'm going to, I'm going to let the beard grow a little bit more. I'm just going to get the beard trimmed. But I'm going to let it grow a, a little bit more because I'm I'm kind of feeling the scruffiness, you know. See how see how far I can I can I can grow the beard out. But yeah, definitely need a haircut. So let's get into today's commentary. I think I got a good one for you, <laughs> a, a real good one. So let's go. Oops. Brian Little. <laughs> Hey guys, Lockout Man here, back again with another commentary for you guys. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button so you'll know that when I drop videos, you will be the first to get it. And just make sure you hit the like button. Whenever you come in, it's free. That's all. All right, so we're gonna we we're gonna jump right into today's uh, commentary, and I I pretty much found this off of Facebook. It's pretty much a doozy. I mean, the, the 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 comments on this post was like crazy. And I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and give my give my thoughts on it. You know, give my give my commentary on it. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to go ahead and read it. So I've been driving for about six months OTR. Now, mind you, key word here is six months. They just started. And I hate being away from home 
and my family so much. I miss every holiday and events this year. Uh, there's only been a few holidays. I mean, this past holiday was the 4th of July. The one before that was like what? Labor Day? Memorial Day? I, I, I can't, I, I get the two confused. I, I know one holiday is for the summer and another holiday is at the end of the summer. So in the comments below, let me know which one. Is it Memorial Day, Labor Day? I, I don't know. I can't keep up with it. But so far, I mean, Easter, who celebrates Easter now? I mean, if you, like, if you was a kid or something like that, you would probably celebrate Easter. But if you grown, do you celebrate Easter? Uh, of course, Martin Luther King Day, but a lot of a lot of states don't even recognize don't even recognize that as a national holiday so i mean what what holidays that you that you missed out i mean with the exception of the fourth of july and either or labor day or memorial day and whatever events, so I, I can't I can't say whatever the events that you missed out. You probably, you know, maybe birthdays or some shit like that. I guess birthdays, maybe. Okay, I give you that. I give you that. You you know your 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 family birthdays. I give you that. I really want to find at least something regional to be home every weekend. Should I tough it out? and finish out my year with this company if i quit i owe seventeen hundred dollars for training but i know some companies are offering a sign-on bonus so i could just pay that off stop stop hold up see right here i could tell you're a newbie you're you're fresh meat you you fresh off the boat all right now you may find a company that may have a regional route for you so you can be home on the weekends see that's where doing your homework comes into play now you said that you you know you owe the company seventeen hundred dollars if you quit so obviously you must have went to a company got your cdls through them and now you're in the contract for you know for the balance of the cdl of course if you don't if you don't finish or you you cancel the contract then you're responsible for whatever the balance is on your on, on your training school right is that is that what it is see what you should do all right it, it, this is what you should do you number one you should know if this is something that you want to get into because this industry this job is not for you if you're homesick and right now that's what you are you're homesick you want to you you want to be home this ain't the job for you this this really isn't especially if you complain and now this ain't the job for you you know you over here talking about oh well i could just jump on to another company that's giving me a sign on but no companies just ain't going to give you the sign on bonus up front you gotta you you gotta subscribe to my channel come come on subscribe to the lockout man channel i, I i'll give you the ropes because majority of these companies ain't gonna give you a sign-on bonus. They're gonna they're gonna nickel and dime your sign-on bonus. So you're not even gonna you you're not even gonna get that up front. You know, you you just not. And as far as looking for a company that's gonna give you something regional so you can uh, stay home, well, number one, it depends on where you stand at. All right. So if you stay in the area, in a hiring area where they're not looking for regional drivers and the only thing they got available is over the road, you, you, you pretty much effed. 
I'm just saying. I, I, look. I'm not trying to down. I'm not trying to down you and all like that. I'm for you, new driver. I'm for you. I'm 100. percent I'm 100 percent for you. But I'm just here to let you know that this ain't for you. Being that you already came on Facebook to complain about your situation, you're homesick. You just you, it, 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 flat out. You just flat out homesick, and this ain't for you if you can't if you can't stand to be away from your family or your home for whatever reason then this is not the job for you i want to be home in michigan in the summer and in mississippi in the winter i'm not sure if any company will work with me on that what are you guys thoughts <laughs> You want to be home in the a, in a, in a summer in Michigan. So I, I, I'm assuming you, you, you want to have a route that will keep you home in Michigan during the summer and then have a route that will keep you home in Mississippi in the winter. So in other words, you don't want to be up in the northeast in the snow during the winter time. Am I saying that right? And you don't want to be down where it's like crispy hot. Am I am I saying that right? Michigan in the summertime, so you won't be down so you won't be down there. But you want to be down south in the wintertime. <sighs> look, look, new driver. What you're gonna have to end up doing? All right, what you're gonna have to end up doing? You, you, you're gonna have to do your homework. Again, that's what it's all about. It's all about research and doing your homework and finding out what company that'll rock out for you. Now, to be honest with you, I really don't think that any company is going to accommodate that. I, I really don't. If you if you get a regional, if you get a regional route, it's either going to be in that region that it gets you home every week in one of in one of these two areas you just got to pick it out you either want to you either want to be home up in michigan or you want to be home down in mississippi i i i don't think i, I don't think the trucking companies is going to give it to you both ways now maybe you know you could find a company that could probably you know, you, when you give them two weeks notice or something like that, like two to three weeks notice that you want to be home down in Mississippi or home up in up in Michigan, you're going to have to give them ample notice depending on uh, depending on who you work for or who you drive for. But again, before I get up out of here, man, I'm, I'm just telling you. If you're homesick now and you're complaining now and you 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 just don't feel that you can uh that that you can uh deal with with being away from your home now then right now is the time you should get out before you get in deep and then you know something crazy might happen so my suggestion to you is to go ahead you're already six months in you 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 got about what about another three about a, a about another three four go ahead finish it out and um go back to the drawing board and 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 find something maybe local i mean find something local I mean, there's 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 food carriers that's that's looking for local drivers, uh, that's paying you by the hour. There's uh, bottling companies like Pepsi and Coca Cola that's paying by the hour. Um, but as far as finding something regional so you could be home every week, then you're gonna have to take you you're gonna have to choose. You either want to be home every week in Michigan uh, in Michigan. Or you want to be home every week in 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 uh, in Mississippi? 
Now, I, I, I don't think a trucking company is going to be like, oh, okay, well, we got you. In the wintertime, we got you in a, in Mich- I mean, the Mississippi, and then in the summertime, we got you in Michigan. I don't think that's going to work. At least I haven't came across any companies that does that yet. So, so yeah, what do you guys think, man? Uh, leave your opinions or comments in the comments below. And uh, let me know what you what you think about that. Uh, am I right in saying that she he or she is homesick? You know? Is this the right job for them? If you can't stand to be away from home, then again, like I said, this this is not the job for you, man, because this this right here, this job right here, you you gonna be away from home three, two, two weeks at a time. And if you, you know, if you the type of person that can't be away from your family and you wanna do holiday stuff and 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 events, I, I, I made a video way back in the day that when you get into this industry right here, you sacrificing all of that. Your you you sacrificing your your you you sacrificing everything. Say good say goodbye to uh uh birthdays, holidays, say goodbye to all your events when you get up in this industry. I mean, that's something that you should have figured out before you got up in here, but a lot of people like to a lot of people like you like to hurry up and jump into it because they see all the money that you can make, which isn't none. But Hey, am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong. All right, that's going to do it for tonight's commentary. My name is Lockout Man. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button that lets YouTube knows that you're rocking with me. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next uh, video, and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. And, oh, just know that there's no commentary on Monday and Tuesday because I'm going to be gone. Got some got some personal things to do. So you guys take it easy and I'll holler at you later. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>